Look how pretty that is, bro. That's crazy. You got the dual PC setup, man. Did you just... What? What the f***? So today I'll be reacting to some popular YouTuber setups. I asked you guys on my community tab to list a few of your favorite popular YouTubers and I'll make a video reacting to their amazing setup. So here we are. If this video does well, I'll maybe consider doing it um, every single month on the channel, but it's up to you guys to vote at the end of the video. So yeah, with that said, let's take a look at some of these setups. Don't you hate when you can't edit PDF files? You have to pay $25 a month just so you have the option of editing your own files, which is a scam. Well, luckily there's a better alternative with today's sponsor, PDF Element Pro. It is the all-in-one smart PDF editor that unlocks the ability to edit your PDF files. You can add new text or images to a previously existing PDF in addition to some other cool features like adding a watermark. You can even add interactive forms underneath the form tab. From drop down boxes to digital signatures, it's crazy how much extra features you get with this. Once you're done with all the edits, you can use the converter and convert the PDF into any format like Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and more. So if you want an all-in-one solution to edit your PDF files, then you have to check out PDF Element Pro. I can't recommend them enough. You can try them out for seven days for free by using my link down below. And if you guys end up loving them as much as I do, then you can pick up a license for 50% off. All right, so the first setup is from the most popular Fortnite player. I think he is a uh, currently the best Fortnite player or at least top five or top 10, I'm not sure. But uh, Tifu has been highly requested by you guys. Let's go to your setup. Let's see what you got. Thank you. Going towards the setup, we got another nice there we go. there. Yeah, whatever, some shoes, whatever, whatever. All right, all right, the chair, you know? Maxidom, I hooked it up. Tifu chair, Maxidom. Typical Tifu, gaming whatever, chair, blah, okay. Blah, blah. Pretty okay. far, super comfy, nicer than my DX Racer back home, not gonna lie. This Shots nice fired. Setup, dude, you know? Uh, before I actually make any recommendations or judgments, I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna watch the full, uh, full video. All right, basic ring light from Amazon. Don't really know what brand that is, whatever. Three monitor setup, one of them is vertical. All three of these monitors are Asus, all 240 hertz. Yeah, it's overkill. Okay. But all you really need is like- Overkill is, uh, I wouldn't use the word overkill. I feel like in 2021 especially, I feel like three triple monitors is the norm, right? Like back in the day, in the 1990s, 2000s, Triple would have been overkill, you know, but I feel like now triple, even quadruple is like the normal. At least 144, but you know, I like the 240 hertz because I'm both webcams. This is the one that I use for my keyboard cam. I think it's a Logitech C930 or something like that. This C920, you mean? This is my regular webcam. It's a Logitech Brio. This thing is amazing. I have it hooked up to some weird webcam arm. That's what I use. I'm surprised uh, someone like Tifu isn't using like a DSLR for their webcam. My middle monitor is my gaming. My left and right are my streaming. Uh, of course, I have two PCs because I'm just that guy, you know? If you don't have two PCs, I highly recommend it if you take streaming seriously. Yeah, if you, um, if you guys are taking stre streaming seriously, buy two PCs. He's, uh, he's recommending that as if it's so easy to buy a PC right now and everybody has the money laying around. If you take streaming seriously. This is my audio, pretty basic, you know? I'm if that is basic, I don't want to know what's advanced. I mean, this could be complicated for some people, but basically I have my stream PC and my gaming PC routed into one mixer. So my microphone right here, it's a uh, Shure SM7B, I believe is the name with a, a Rode arm. What is all of that stuff laying around on your desk, dude? You would think someone with over 12 million subscribers would at least tidy up their setup before they posted a setup tour. Like all this mess could easily be cleaned up by installing a pencil drawer underneath your desk, by the way. It doesn't take up much space, it's hidden, and you can dump stuff in that you're not really using, like you know, a bunch of your SD cards, your papers, even your remote can fit inside the drawer. I'll drop a link to it down below, by the way, Tifu. You should pick it up. So I have that hooked up to my streaming and my gaming PC through my Behringer 1204 USB mixer. So yeah, I use this mixer basically to transfer my gaming and my streaming PC into one microphone, one headphone. Uh, I'm using these Sennheisers right now. They're HD 660, a casual iced out pink diamond. G-Shock, that's whatever. Oh, I got a, uh, a strip back there. But yeah, my desk is a uplift desk. Let me see if I can show you right here. It can go up and down. I'm not gonna mess with it too much because I like where it's at right now. If I wanna play standing up, I can, but like, what's the point of that? Like, I don't wanna play standing up. I don't know what the model number for. Standing up is, um, can promote health sometimes, Tifu. It's okay to kind of change it up. You know, you can sit down for a couple hours, you can stand up. It'll be good for your back, These trust me. These monitors are and everything, but it'll be in the description, hopefully. My mouse pad. 
I've been using these for years. I probably sold way too many of them. They probably owe me a big royalty check. No, I'm just kidding. All right, people always talk about my keyboard. Well, keyboard, yeah, what keycaps are these? But basically, this is a ducky. One, two. Typical gamer keyboard mouse combo. You got the ducky one, two mini with custom keycaps, and then you got the, uh, the honeycomb mice. It's, it's gonna be everywhere. Mini. These are the ultraviolet keycaps here. Uh, I got some random escape keycap, I don't know. I don't know what that is either. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section. It looks like the it looks like Weeper from Overwatch, but I'm not. I don't know what that is. These are the main. I'm not 100 percent on that. All the rubber ones. I don't know. I just like the feeling of rubber. It feels nice. Anyway, over to the mice, because these things are beautiful. No cap, no lie. They're both hooked up to Zali Kamades. Just because I have those laying around, I like using the Zali Kamade. I've been using it for years. <laughs> Years. I have both colors just because uh, I'm just cool like that, I guess. Those are dope. I like those. I those a lot. Anything else? Show the cable management, uh, Tifu. Uh, no, I think that's pretty much it. I just need to move over to the last, but definitely not least. These are my my router and my modem right there. I have separate internet. Nice. Oh, there it is. There is the cables. Everybody else. We're getting to the juicy support. stuff. Busy streaming stuff like that. But this is Jesus. This is my That's piece. a sick pre-built. Like, what? Like, I want you guys to understand how big this thing is. Like, this thing is actually massive. This thing is literally the size of my desk. I'm not even showing. That's how tall it is. And look how wide it is. Just it's a sick pre-built. This thing's insane. Like, Water cooled. Cooling on this. The dual SLI. I don't know much about computers. I have built a few Clearly. computers in the past, but I that that's not me. Okay, I'm not the computer. I highly doubt he's built a few computers in the past your tech guy like look at this thing this thing x for that this is the the sexiest pc i've ever seen and it is mine i've never seen a back of a computer look so cool what have you seen the back of a computer look this good like are you kidding me and this is literally gorgeous and of course i have the streaming pc it doesn't ah the cables look anything like that but it does have some cool effects to it you know it's it's still nice like this thing's still nice some gucci slides you know oh my god dude look at the cable management anyway these are my specs for my gaming and my streaming pc I love how he points out the bad cable management, but he doesn't like do anything about it. That's like, oh, my, my house is on fire. Ah, it's okay. Just carry on. Look anything like that, but what? it does have some cool effects to it, you know? It's, it's cool management. So a quick tip I can give you, Tifu, obviously you have a bunch, bunch of cables to work with. You can't hide these in simple raceways. You can't use Velcro straps. To, forget about Velcro straps. You can't use that here. What I would recommend is um, getting these giant cable racks. They're really thick, they're really wide, and you can basically mount these underneath your desk and you can just dump all your cables on it. They come in a pair of two, I believe, but you can buy four of them for your desk and mount it underneath it and just dump all your cables. It will help you tremendously on picking up all of this nonsense from your ground. Anyway, these are my specs for my gaming and my streaming PC. The left one is my stream PC, i9, 16 gigs of RAM. Got an i9, what though? What is that? A 900, probably 900K. And we got a GTX 1060. Basic, basic stream PC, you know, whatever. Can we just stop for a second and uh, realize that whoever built this PC paired an i9 with a GTX 1060? Bruh. Basic, basic stream PC. Very you know, basic. Whatever. And then my like, PC is just, uh, I don't. 780 XE, that's the same specs for uh, from Big Red version three. It's a six, I believe it's a 16 core, 32 thread processor, and we got two 1080 Ti's in SLI. E X E, 32 gigs of RAM. Two nice specs there, Tifu. I use an Elgato 4K capture card. I don't know, the computers are decent. They're decent, I guess. But anyway, I, I think I covered everything. I think I covered about everything. That's basically my setup. Let me put my chair in it so you guys can get a full view. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely a good setup, you know? I would rate this setup. I'm gonna rate every setup, by the way. I'll give this a solid six out of 10. Obviously, the cable management aspect can use some work, but just tidy up, man. Honestly, tidying up is the easiest part about any setup. Before you do a setup tour, you take pictures, a pencil drill would be perfect to store all every unnecessary thing on there, and maybe even a headphone anchor for your headphones that's just kind of laying on your desk like that. But yeah, I'm not impressed. For a $20,000 Fortnite gaming setup, I was expecting to get wowed. I think I feel like the only cool thing about this setup is the uh, the pre-built PC. All right, so yeah, those are my recommendations for you, Tifu. I will drop you a like anyways. Moving on to the next setup. So next up we have Swag, his fifteen thousand Warzone gaming setup. So this should be epic, yo. Especially with a person named Swag, this is about to be epic. So let me back up and just show you guys the view of the setup right now. 
Look how pretty that is, bro. That's crazy. You got the dual PC setup, man. Did you just... What? What the f Did I just hear what I think I heard? The setup right now. Look how pretty that is, bro. That's crazy. <sighs> My guy, I think you and I have two completely different definitions of what pretty actually means. Um, I hope you're not calling your girlfriend the same word, pretty because if you compare the two, there's a pretty big difference. Okay, like this is pretty, this is pretty, hell even this is pretty. This, this right here is an abomination. I feel like Swag hasn't seen a single episode of Setup Wars. I don't think he has an idea of what type of setups exist out there in the wild. I can show you actually pretty setup Swag if you wanna stop by on the channel. Right here on my console, this is the old console I used to use on PS4. I got the same console. Spider-Man PS4 nice. Pro. Uh, it got torched though, like it's, we have this. Uh... So first thing I've already noticed, um, it's a small little nitpick thing. Uh, obviously, if you want to make the poster look aesthetically pleasing, don't use double-sided tape, my guy. The, you, you can see the tape all around the poster, kind of just takes away from the beauty of the poster, whatever you're trying to display on the, uh, on the wall. Get a piece of tape, Fold it into a circle and stick it on the back of the poster and then you could attach it to the wall. That way the tape is invisible. Quick little uh, quick little tip for you guys. The hijack poster, let me just show you guys around it real quick. Um, yeah, probably one of the favorite maps of all time. We have this, uh, obviously the key light. Another thing I just noticed from the key lights, uh, I can already tell the cable management in this setup, Jesus. Um, another very simple tip, if you have any type of stands, boom arms, whatever it is, and there's a cable running down from it, Velcro straps. Velcro straps are your friend. Grab a couple of them and tie the cable to the pole. That way you don't see the cable just dangling down. So really cheap. They sell them on Amazon. You should definitely pick these up, Swag. I shout out to Elgato for hooking up the key lights. Um, and then we have this mama mentality. Uh, little picture right here, man. Definition, constant quest to be the best version of oneself. And then right here, we have, this is probably my favorite picture of all time, man. It's uh, it's Derrick Rose helping up his old. It's it's so dope, bro. It's like it's like one of those pictures where like it just says like a thousand words type. You know what I mean? Like it's like just one of those. And so right here, let me show y'all my scuff gaming collection, man. Oh, that's I have cool. Way more in the back, but these are like the more prettier ones that I have. Right here, we got the this this, this came with the Spider Man. We got a Modern Warfare version. Obviously, the the impact. Okay. Another impact. So a quick thing on your uh, your controller display. I love it. I love that you're displaying your collection, especially for the controllers, because obviously you spent money on it. You want it to be proudly displayed somewhere, but I feel like it's a bit unnecessary laying these out flat on your, on your desk. It's taking up extra space for no reason. You can still display them, but probably in a much better way. You can buy these really cool controller stands that they sell on Amazon. They also sell them on uh, Walmart, I believe, and a bunch of other websites where you can proudly display your controllers. I think it works for Xbox, PlayStation, even Nintendo Switch controllers, and even some of the older N64 ones as well. So you can pretty much put any controller you want on the stand and still display it instead of just laying them flat on your desk, if that makes any sense. For a long time, we got the uh, Vantage, the Swag Vantage and an old Xbox 360 controller. And then we have obviously Astral Mix Amp, Blue Snowball I used to use a lot. And then this is my streaming PC rig. Shout out to, uh, uh, NZXT man for hooking us up, but yeah, this NZXT is a streaming pre PC. Nice. Let me just show you guys real quick, show you the vibe, man. Loki looking pretty though. And then I got the specs for you guys for this computer. This is the streaming one, man. So the specs nice. for this one are basically, let's see if y'all can see that real quick, man. I'll probably put them on screen, man. 3950X, wow. Asus, Strix, GeForce, RTX, 2080 RTX 2080 Ti. Ti. Obviously we have the keyboard keyboard little mouse and this is my camera man this is the uh this is a sony joint i think this is the i have the see swag has the right idea he's using a dslr for his main streaming camera i think this is the sony alpha either 6400 one of the 6000 series but if you're a popular streamer especially i would definitely recommend upgrading your webcam to a dslr the a6000 series from sony is a, is a really good pick the description is 6400 i'm pretty sure Sony okay, 6400. Um, beautiful camera. If you see that my stream quality, it's nuts, bro. It's nuts. Mm -hmm. And this is the microphone I use. This is a Blue Yeti, I believe. Yeah, it's a Blue Yeti. So I've had this forever, bro. Then I have like a random Elgato just. Oh, what is going on with your keyboard? 
Then I have my Astro, pink Astro A40s right there. Um, got two mouses and two keyboards. So that's what I really basically rock. This keyboard's so dirty too. All right, all right, swag. I, we gotta do something about the, the cleanliness of the setup, my guy. There's a bunch of cleaning utilities you can buy from Amazon. I'll drop a link down below to a few of them. There's like a mini vacuum. There is one that you can brush and clean the dust and dirt out of your keyboard. Just the sanitary, just the sanitary aspect of your setup is uh, not pleasing at all. And then obviously I have my controller right here. This is what I use to game with men. Um, I have control freaks on them. I use a lot. And then this is the beast everybody's been waiting for to see. Like this is what I love how the uh, talk about type stuff. The plastic is still on it. I had, I had to close the uh, I had to close the the bathroom door. But this is the gaming PC, the big rig, man. Let me show you all the specs on this one. This one is nuts, yo. NZXT has a GeForce RTX 3090, 10900K, um, Intel i9, and a 3090. This guy's rocking a 3090 in there with a 10900K. Oh, must be nice. That is an awesome, awesome system. And, I mean, just, yeah, it's just auto joint, bro. Y'all got, Oof. those are the specs for the gaming PC though, man. They're, this guy's set. It's, it, they, I get 240 frames when I'm playing Warzone, when I have it on like low settings. I hope so. Even so. high settings, I get like 200 I FPS. I hope so. Easy, bro. So it's, it's a, just an absolute tank, man. Um, I know a lot of you guys are vibing with it and stuff like that. Um, if you come to my streams, man, you'll understand the quality. The quality is just ridiculous on this thing man so that's my basically my gaming setup man again i can see you have a bunch of miscellaneous items just kind of scattered around i'm going to recommend the same pencil drawer i recommend the t4 earlier super convenient place to store things you're not really using around and it's going to help clean up the surface of your desk a lot so um so my rating for this setup would be probably a solid five we're not going to even get into the cable management aspect but i just feel like the desk you're using doesn't really provide much function you just have so much stuff on the top of your desk and no room for storage there's literally no storage right you could pick up maybe an alex drawer some pencil drawers to store some things you're not really using on the desk that can also help up kind of clean up the cables in the back as well i would recommend picking up a boom arm for your blue yeti i don't really like the location of that maybe a few headphone anchors for your headphones and headsets i mean there's the setup needs a makeover and i feel like the best place to start is with a new desk all right that was an interesting setup let's move on to the next contestant all right up next is diamond mamba a little over 1 million subscribers this is his new 2021 fortnite gaming setup and room tour let's go all right let's just get to the setup although your kitchen is that your kitchen Basically, guys, today I'm showing you guys my 2021 room tour slash gaming setup. And, it's so uh, white in his house. Yo, you have a pretty bitchin' kitchen. Like, if I lived there, this is probably what I would have done too. Uh, I love your kitchen. Or your parents' kitchen. Whoever's kitchen that is, I'm obsessed. Super, super, super hard I'm for obsessed. this video. Yep. Uh, when you walk into my room, the first thing you guys see nice. is my most prized possession right here. Uh, my one million subscribers plaque. I do like Many the new uh, YouTube the play button. Sky. It's very work, minimalistic track, and clean. Video editing, a lot of recording, and um, there's so much behind this, and uh, it means a lot to me. Not just to me, but my brothers. Nice. And, you know, they help me Congrats. get this. Kind of yeah was that, bro. <laughs> um, we have a showcase glass here. Um, then we got um, some AirPods. This dude's got a PlayStation 5. I'm printed. jealous. I'm actually yeah, jealous. On this, so Why is it that I can't stuff, still so. get my hands on a PlayStation 5? And uh, moving on guys, we got a PS5 here, but uh, yeah, I don't use this guys because I have a PC So obviously I'm then why do you have it? <laughs> Give it to me, please. I'm just kidding not use it that much, but He basically has it just to flex like he has it right there on the center drawer mad mad respect it I like that games, like 2k stuff where, um, I'm set up soon in like the loft. So then we got a supreme poster canvas here. Of um, course like, uh, Yeah, we got some uh, foam on the wall right there to make it like nice acoustic <laughs> panels but like I put them on today, guys, and it's like already falling apart. I mean, okay. you probably stuck them on the wrong way. Uh, there are a few ways you can actually mount acoustic foams. One is more like a permanent way. There is this 3M spray. It's kind of like glue. You spray it in the back and you attach it to the wall. But the problem with that is if you peel it off, it's going to peel some of the uh, some of the wall with it or some of the acoustic is going to get stuck on the back of your acoustic panel. So I don't really recommend that method. You can also use the T-pin method. You can use two T-pins per acoustic foam. So put one in the corner and one on the opposite side of the corner. That usually does a pretty good job. Or you can just use double-sided tape. I tried my best, guys. 
So oh. by, by the end of this video, like two of them are gonna fall. All right, moving on guys to the actual setup. We have three monitors. We got a vertical one and then two horizontal ones right nice, here. Nice, okay. So this one is a 244 hertz monitor. If I ever stream. I 244 hertz? That's a new refresh rate. I've never heard that one before. Stream, but if I ever stream, I could like see the chat here. OBS, stuff like that. Nice. Uh, it's a really nice monitor. It's by Asus. All these by Asus. So this Elgato light right here is broken, guys. It doesn't work. I just have it there because I'm too late to take it off. We got a Logitech Brio right here. Mm -hmm. um, we got a Logitech Brio. We got the other two monitors that are 24 inches, um, 144 hertz, each of them. I do have to say, this setup looks more complete. Oh, we got a lamp right here that I use sometimes. So I don't really use it that Compared much. Compared to the other ones. You know, if it gets dark, turn that on. And then these two monitors right here are actually on a stand. So like they're hovering. Nice. And okay. the cables are like wrapped around it. Then we have my mic that I've used for many, many years. The Audio Technica AT2020. It's a USB. He's version. got a boom arm. I feel, I feel like this guy definitely update. knows Things what like he's the, doing. Uh, Rode PSA. Uh, my stand right here. It's pretty much breaking my desk. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's Ooh. kind of breaking my desk. Oh my god, it actually is. That's, uh, right here. that's not good. <laughs> it's a red one. Uh, my mom didn't want it anymore. And then uh, we got a Razer Huntsman Mini right here. It's the white version. Then we got a Razer Viper of course. Huntsman right here. It's mm -hmm. wireless too, guys. It's wireless, but I just keep it plugged in because I don't want to deal with the charging and stuff. As you guys can see, we have a foot warmer. So like- Is that actually pretty good cable management? For the first time, this is actually rare. Wow. And it, you guys can hear that. It massages your feet. And Maybe you watched a few setup warm. wars so, yeah, videos. Games, that's my foot. I can see the signum rack up there holding up the cable. There. So good job, dude. And it massages my feet. I got my old PC nice. there. I don't want to say the specs, but yeah, it's like i7, 1080 and stuff in there. Then uh, moving on to my favorite. Casually just tosses, oh, i7, 1080, you know, peasant. Peasant specs. Favorite, favorite part, guys, obviously, is a gaming PC. I have an i9 in there. We got a 2080 Super. I had a TI, guys, but I sent it back to Ironside, and they swapped it for a Super because there were some problems with it. But nice. That's, That's there, actually guys. a pretty sick uh, yeah, we got a 2080 Super in there. custom we got loop. i9, like I said, 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's water-cooled, obviously. Oh, I'm loving that custom acrylic piece over here on the side. Whoever this brand or company is, Ironside, they, uh, they, look, they make some pretty sick custom PCs. Custom backplate on there. Custom. Looks like he's got the uh, his logo, his channel logo etched on the side panel as well. Guys, to my liking. And uh, yeah, just nice. goes along with my channel, my channel art, my whole theme. Got a diamond logo right there in the glass. Got a diamond logo in the glass. I that's like that. I'm digging PCs it. Even that one right there. I'm digging yeah. it. But, uh, yeah, iconic PC logo. That's my logo right there. You guys see it everywhere. It's pretty sick. And then we got my wallet here, guys. Uh, my car keys and the RGB lighting. So again, um, it's cool that you have stuff on your desk, you know, for easy access or whatever, but there's really no purpose for it to be there. You don't even have to pick up a full pencil drawer. You can pick up these tinier ones. I have actually one for my setup, and it's actually big enough to fit your, uh, your car keys, even a remote in there, and it's gonna help clean up the surface of your desk. So you could pick up one, maybe a couple of them. Very useful to have around. So overall, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely a much more complete setup than the other ones I've seen. Uh, it definitely feels like you have some knowledge or experience in putting together a setup. You know, extra points for the Signum Rack. You did put some effort in for cable management. I would give this a solid 7 out of 10, I would say. My biggest concern is that, um, well, first let's start off with the monitor layout. If you're using the middle one for gaming mostly and you use the outer two for multitasking, then it just makes more sense going with a TIE Fighter uh, setup with your monitors. So switch the right monitor in vertical mode. That way you have both the monitors a lot closer to you. That way you don't have to kind of lean in and see what's on the outer displays. It'll be a lot better for you and better for your eyes as well. Uh, I would also pick up a monitor um, for the left display as well. That way you can have all the monitors floating above your desk. It'll look a lot cleaner. I like the acoustic panels. I like that you're adding a bit of decoration to spice up your setup, but also trying to soundproof your room or your studio but it just kind of looks weird with just soundproofing or adding acoustic panels in that corner. There's no other acoustic panels anywhere else in your setup. And I feel like that's mostly due to the, the position or the location of your setup. You put it right next to your bed, there's a window and blinds behind it. So already it's blocking off like half the wall. And I feel like, obviously I don't know the blueprints of your home. I don't know what your entire room looks like, but if you do have an empty space, where it's just the wall, your setup would look so much better there instead. In fact, I actually just saw that somewhere. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right over here. 
I feel like it would make more sense on this wall. And you can put your, uh, you know, your dresser and your, um, your display things on the opposite side. And then you have this entire wall to really just go crazy. You can add a bunch of artwork on there. You can actually add entire acoustic panels on the wall if you want, but you have more flexibility of really improving the overall uh, presentation of your setup using this wall. All right, moving on to our fourth and final candidate of the evening. We have popular YouTuber Pokemon. We have a little over 6 million subscribers and this is her $10,000 room tour, 2019. <laughs> but hi, welcome to my humble abode. Usually it's not this messy. We got some garbage bags here because I'm cleaning some stuff out. Okay. But welcome. This Thank you for the welcome. Let's uh, fast forward to your setup. Um, we have my TV here and below it is usually where Mimi eats. I see a raceway covering the uh, cable going on the TV. So it seems like she knows how to cable manage. So I have uh, high expectations for this setup. I really like this quote, do well by doing good. And basically what that means to me is- I like that. Like feeling hey, I like featured this in my cool tech. Making a living by also having a positive- Oh, there's her setup. Somehow on the world or on other people. I am so cheesy and cringy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, and then this little corner- She has a big bedroom. Damn. I feel kind of, I don't know. It feels kind of showy off to have them in your room, but like, uh, I, I disagree. You throw them out. I feel like that's worse. Yeah, that's awesome. You never, obviously you wouldn't want to throw your plaque away. It's, it's great because it's a constant reminder of all the hard work you put in to building your channel from zero, from nothing. So having it displayed in a room is not show-offy at all. You should be proud of yourself, Pokemon. You know? So I just have it in my little, my little corner. Um, some cat stuff for Mimi. 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 That's a cute cat name. <laughs> this is my setup, more or less. Um, I will go into every individual little piece. For starters, my chair. Um, this is a Herman and body chair. I really like She's chair. rocking the embody chair. This is massive. It's Ooh. really worth it. Even I can't afford that. Streaming or being on the computer 24 seven is your full time job because it's very adjustable. And that kind of thing is so important to me yes. to have like 90 degree, 90 degree and to be like seated properly. Cause I'm, I'm really on the PC all the time. Back you gotta care about your back. Thing. Exactly. Great, you gotta uh, care about your back. And you're worried about uh, the negative side effects of sitting too much. I think this is an awesome pick. That's good. Evil. Oh, there's Mimi. Hey, Mimi. She is huge. Is that a normal size for a cat? Random other mics and wires. Some snacks for Mimi, huh? I, I, I don't think you should be feeding her or him. You're doing so good, Mimi. This is the main thing that she uses, scratching post here, and those two toys she uses a ton. And then moving on to my actual -da -da setup, which I get a bazillion questions about, especially since- A bazillion questions? I have a question for you, Pokemon. Who built this setup for you? And what's going on with the cable management? I have two Alienware models. I love that she's blurring really something like from the display. Hertz. There is one major drawback, which is the fact that like they don't go up that high. Like this is as high as it goes. So a, a quick, simple fix to this Pokey is um, a lot of people don't use the stands that come with their displays because they don't offer that much flexibility. So I would recommend picking up a, uh, a two-in-one monitor arm for both your displays. You hook them up and you attach it to your desk and you have complete flexibility on moving your monitor any direction you want, any angle, you could pivot them, you could rotate them, whatever you want. So that's gonna add a lot of flexibility to your current issue, which you just stated. So that's one thing I would recommend so far. Um, and usually you want, you want your monitors to be like eyesight, Eye level. basically, but you also want your arms to be like perpendicular. Uh -huh. I do prefer okay. super long mouse pads like the heck of long ones like this. So I can zoom, zoom and have everything on zoom, it zoom. Okay. the keyboard. My hydro flask hydration is so- That's cute. That is huge. That's a huge flask. <laughs> important. <laughs> hydration is actually really important. Both for general health, wellness, being, uh, skin, wellness, hair, being? nails, organ development, tissue development, and aim. And sleep. No meme. 
Hydration is very important. It's, for it's Aiden. also really you guys good know for that? sleep. I bet you did. They, they came for the room tour, but now they're listening to Dr. Pokey. So I'm just, I'm just video. trying to help yeah. the brothers out, you know. Right, Mimi. Right, Mimi. It's so important. That's such a cute cat. What kind of cat Should is this? Together, drink together. This. I'm so gross. I'm actually the worst. I'm sorry. I tried to organize things, but not clean it up too much, so I could still show you guys what I genuinely just keep on my desk. I think you should clean clean up a lot, Pokey. Um, I usually have some powder, no meme. I keep like powder no meme. and an eyebrow pencil beside my monitor because- So here it is again. Pencil, 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 pencil drawers, please. Just get the small one, tuck it underneath your desk, Pokey. Put your makeup brushes, put your foundation, whatever it is inside it and away from sight, okay? And then whenever you need to, obviously brush up on your on your makeup, pull it out, take out your makeup stuff, and you're good to go. And there's there's no business having it on your uh, on your desk. It's just taking up extra space. Because, I mean, when you're in front of like these two intense lights, which I will turn on in a second, show you, when you're in front of lights for so long, you need to powder up a little bit, okay? I so can I relate. I those on deck. I can I have relate. my stream deck here. I have my compressor here which is i have a really big voice so i need a big compressor for my big voice <laughs> and then a little audio interface i do use both of these i use this mic and this rode mic stand is by far the best one there's a lot of them on amazon i agree it's one of the best but not cheaper, the best I use them all i promise you this one is the best this is uh i prefer the Eno gear one better it has more flexibility in my opinion. My NZXT PC, look at those That's lights. Cool. I love that they have I like a custom that. drawing and name. NZXT's killing it, man, with these pre-builds. Damn. And of course the PC works great. Good stuff. I have these two lights that I use mainly. Mind you, I have, I've been streaming for five years. So this is like, this is probably like the second setup tour that I've ever done. Five I've years, the damn. Best by far. I have gone through every type of setup. And these are dope because you turn them on like this. You oh, that's can cool. them however you please. And you can change the temperature. That's so awesome. That's what I use right now, as well as the intensity of the light. So another huge um, tip I can give you, Pokey, for those lights. You can still use them. I know they provide some pretty cool, you know, light for streaming, but you don't have to put them on the, uh, on the floor stands. And you can get rid of all of that gunk and mess that's happening underneath your desk, which I saw earlier. Um, what you can do is pick up these desk mounts for your lights and hook them up to your desk. It will clean up, trust me, it will clean up everything or majority of the mess that's happening right now underneath your desk. And it's going to be a lot easier for cable management because you can run the cable straight down and underneath your desk. The reason I like this is because whenever I've used lighting in the past on stream, this is my secret. Okay. This okay. This is my secret to always decent lighting. The secret is you never buy a light and face it towards you. You just, look, you don't do this, okay? Okay. And I mean, it makes sense for most lights, you'd think, you set it up towards you, maybe from three different points, you look up all these lighting guides, blah, 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 stop. What you do is you just have it bounce off of the wall behind you. So although I love these lights and they work great and this is what I use now um, and they're really nice if you can afford them, you can use just about any light and all She's not wrong actually. What she's doing is she's, she's helping diffuse the light against the curtains and it bounces back in a more natural way. There are some lights out there that come with this, uh, with this material that kind of diffuses the light, which is the lights I'm using right now, but she's not wrong. Because especially if you use the webcam that like everybody uses when they stream, the Logitech one, you can get washed out very easily if you have a bright, bright light. This is true. So, yeah, that's my tip. Oh yeah, this is the camera that I use. I know the Sony Alpha. DSLR. DSLRs kind of help with the whole lighting issue. Webcams will wash you out very easily. DSLRs won't do that as much, which is... Take notes, Tifu. Take notes. This is my bed. I just got some new sheets. And okay, I think we're... Um... Going off topic just a little bit. You didn't show us your cable management pokey, but you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try and find a good shot. Okay, here we go. So first of all, my overall rating, I would say this is a uh, 
a six, a solid six. Um, it's got a pretty good foundation. You got a good location for it. You got a nice desk for it. It can definitely use some tweaks. Uh, monitor mounts, like I said, huge. Um, the stands, the desk mounts for your uh, the lights, also huge. Bunch of cable management racks, raceways, Velcro straps can also help. Like you can even mount your uh, your boom arm in like the the left back corner of your setup. That way it's not in your face. And you can even mount your audio interface or whatever this unit thing here is underneath your desk, really close to you. Put some 3M tape on the back of it, hook it up. You can still control it. Once you memorize the knobs, you can control it, but it's gonna be away from sight. And it's gonna be easier for cable management because you can route the cable straight underneath the desk using cable clips towards the back. So, so yeah, those are pretty much the major recommendations I can give you, Pokey. Everything else I feel like will just fall in place once you rearrange some of your items, but not bad. Not bad setup. So that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did and want to see this done monthly, let me know by dropping a like. And if there are other popular YouTubers setups that you guys want me to react to, let me know by commenting down below. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I'll see you very soon in the next one.